Another beautiful Friday evening, ready to send the boat again. I've spent most of the evenings after office hours sending the boat, the, the lockers under the settees, the bilges. And I have some more to do. Sanding, 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 sanding. Sanding, sanding. Sanding, 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 sanding. Some more sanding, 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 sanding. This is what the lockers look like. With some loose tabbing. Yeah, the boat is full of surprises. You gotta love old boats. One big surprise I'm gonna reveal now is lying ahead in the front cabin. I don't know yet how serious this is, but I'll try to show you. So this is under the V-berth. I reconstructed this situation because I didn't have a camera with me when I reached this place. But here in the bottom, <laughs> It's some kind of strange greenish material which is poured in the bottom of the v-section and it came loose pretty easily maybe some kind of resin who knows but the question is why it's here there used to be a holding tank under this bunk, under the V-berth, it was laminated into the hollow sides. This lamination tore off pretty easily. This is solid hull and it, it wasn't wetted out properly, I think. You can see a lot of dry fibers. But this thing here makes me very worried. Why should someone pour some material here? I remember in the same place outside there is a small crack like a few centimeters long a millimeter wide and now I'm worried that maybe there is a crack along the bottom of this V section I'm gonna grind off the old uh, paint to see if I find any trace of uh, water seeping in or, or any trace of uh, crack. Maybe it's just my nightmare. <laughs> So this uh, V-berth bottom has been filled with uh, polyester filler for some reason and there's a lot of it and I wonder why would someone waste such a huge amount of filler in the place where it's absolutely not necessary so probably it's hiding something underneath After some digging, I removed, uh, I think, a few centimeters thick coat of filler from the bottom of the V-berth. And some strange plastic thing is sticking out from the bottom of the boat. I carefully removed the material around it. It looks like 
a plastic insert of some kind but why is it here Pfft. mystery mysterious boat listen to that wind howling outside hello my lady So after a long evening of um, hammering and uh, grinding, I got rid of the filler which was in the bottom of the V section in the bow of the boat. And um, I had this nightmare that uh, there is a crack in the bottom of the boat because somebody had put a lot of uh, filler in this V section and I'm relieved now because there obviously there is no crack and uh, I had all kind of uh, fears like uh, maybe the boat was grounded hard uh, it came from Sweden you know there are a lot of rocks and uh, if you make a mistake with the navigation, it's easy to hit something and, and it's going to be hard. It's not like uh, grounding on a sand. Uh, it's it's going to be a hard hit. So I grind it down to bare fiberglass and I found some interesting holes. There is one there. It's about uh, five mils diameter and one there about uh, one millimeter diameter and first they didn't understand what what these are but then but then I remember that the previous owner told me that this boat has been fitted with a baby stay and the previous owner had removed it so this is probably where the baby stay uh, uh, was attached. Not baby stay itself, baby stay goes from uh, half of the mast to the deck fitting. And then from the deck fitting uh, to the bottom of the boat, there will be another wire. And this one was probably fastened here with some kind of fitting. And these holes are just reminders of this how the fitting was fastened I'm gonna fill these holes properly and uh, also put a uh, few layers of uh, glass on top of the section so that it makes a nice uniform uh, shape I took this minute to dream and enjoy my coffee. I'm so thankful to my to my company whom I work for that they let me to use this hangar. So that the boat is inside and I have electricity. It's not so freezing anymore. And now I dream that maybe one day I'll sit in this boat. It's all finished and nice. And 
sublime in a beautiful anchorage. Maybe some warm country, maybe in some cold climate. Anywhere. You got to have read. Yeah, I can say I'm a dreamer. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought this boat. If I had known half as much as I know now about this boat, I would have given it a second thought if to buy it or not. But I'm not complaining. The more I do, the more I know about the boat. And, uh, and the more I can trust her. She was cheap anyway. <laughs>